All right, today we're talking about terms. And we've already talked about the terms can be two things. They can be a letter, a variable, or a constant, a number. Now in this one, we've got two terms. We've got x and plus three. What's sneaky is that x has that plus sign in front of it that's kind of invisible, so let's put it in. So right now we have the expression x plus three. Uh, there is no equal sign, so it's just an expression, not an equation. But what happens when we add to this expression? Let's say another variable comes in, and it's x again. Well, I think you know where I'm going with this. We can combine like terms. We can put the x with the x, and that makes 2x. Now, the 2 is a different type of number than the 3. The 3 is a constant. The 2 is a coefficient. It just tells us how many of the variable we had. We just combined a couple of x's, so now we have 2x's. So I think we're pretty good on that, but what happens when 2x plus 3 equals something? Well, I can still use combining like terms to try to solve. Uh, in this problem, I have to know what I'm trying to do. Step one is I know I have to try to solve for x. And if I know I have to solve for x, then I'm going to start looking for all the x terms and get them on the same side of the equation. And I'm going to get all the other terms on the other side of the equation. So there's a couple ways I can do this. One is the classical way where I look and say, okay, I want the 2x on the left side by itself. So I want everything else to the right side, so I gotta get that three out of there. If it's plus three, I can go subtract three to get it out of there like this. And that leaves me with, I can bring down the two x, the plus three and the minus three cancel each other out, and plus seven minus three is four, which leaves me with two x equals four. And now that I've got x by itself, I can actually solve. The last thing I wanna do is get rid of that coefficient, the two, so I can divide by two on both sides. And when I do that, I get x equals positive 2. So the last step is get rid of that coefficient by dividing it out. All right, what if we start with the last problem and make it a little more complicated? So this might seem like a more difficult problem, but let's first label our terms to make sure we're talking about the right things. Positive 2x is an x term. Plus 3 is a constant term. Plus 7 or positive 7 is a constant term and plus 3x is a x term. So first step is that I have to know what I'm solving for. Step one, I have to solve for x. Step two then, I have to get all the x terms on one side and all the other terms on another side. So there's a really easy way to do this, check this out. So I can pretend there's this barrier right at the equal sign. And if I wanna switch a term from one side to the other and it crosses the barrier, I can do that. I could just have to switch its sign when I do this. So I'm gonna take the 3x and I wanna put that 3x over with the 2x because I want all the x's on one side. And when I pick it up and move it across the equal sign, notice when it hits that barrier, it turns into a negative 3x and I can put it on this side. But now I need the plus three over on the other side. So I'm gonna pick it up and start to move it. And when it hits the barrier, it turns into a negative three and I can put it over on that side. Now we can easily combine like terms. So now just combining the like terms on both sides, negative three X plus two X is negative X and positive seven minus three is just positive four. So if negative X equals positive four, then X equals negative four or you can think of it as multiplying both sides by negative one to flip the signs.